Welcome to Seek Thermal's mini-series on education about thermal imaging cameras. We're going to talk about decisions to make when you're buying a decision-making camera. What we want to stress today is that many fire departments go through a lot of work when they spec out a particular performance standard for their gear, for their fire trucks, for their hose. A lot of departments don't put the same effort into when they're purchasing a camera. The first thing we want to stress is when you're buying a decision-making camera, this is a thermal imaging camera. It needs to be tested in a thermal environment. It needs heat to see how it performs, low, moderate, and high heat. You do not need to buy a camera based on how it performs in a conference room or in the living room at the fire station. You're doing your firefighters a disservice if you just test it that way. These cameras work by seeing heat and contrast. First, first point for you to take home. Now you need to have a performance-based criteria when you're testing these cameras. When you look at the camera, you're going to grade it several ways. First, the field of view, how well the camera can see, and that's compared to the human eye. You have to take that and put it in front of the firefighter's face with an SCBA on to see it. Then we're going to move from there into temperature modes. All cameras work by seeing the environment through the eyes of the detector, and it has to split that into two different temperature modes. The Attack Pro does it through mixed gain mode and makes it easier. You can see that by pointing at the floor and bringing it back up and looking at the heat and seeing how it adjusts. Then we move from there into resolution and color palettes. How clear is the image and when do you see color? What are the color temperature correlations? How does that affect the firefighter and decision making abilities? You need to be able to compare that and know when the colors show up, what they mean and what the absence of color means. And then we talk about emissivity, being able to differentiate between a shiny surface and a solid surface. And then we talk about the effective range of the camera looking far away and up close and what the camera can see. This is all free on our website on our purchasing implementation criteria lesson plan. You can check it out and check out the resources at Seek Thermal. But if you're going to buy a decision making camera, put some effort into the decision making. Don't buy it based on what another department's doing. Put it in your firefighter's hands and also to ask them about the ergonomics, the weight. Does it feel good to them? And then find out who's going to take care of you after you buy this camera. You need to be able to know all of those questions in advance and have this lesson plan worked out. And we've made it simple, made it easy, and it's on our website, and our friends at Seek Thermal have made that possible. Thank you, and keep up the good work. Stay intelligently aggressive.